Good morning, children. Estimation. This is chapter 2 from your book. Today in this module, I will discuss about estimation. Estimation means to make an idea about quantities, to judge the approximate size, cost, population, etc. A very simple example. If I ask you what is your height or if I ask you what is the perimeter of your room or the length of the table on which you are sitting, will you be able to give me the exact number? No. You might say, Miss, approximately my height is 5 feet. Or you can say, Miss, approximately the perimeter of my room is 50 meters. Like this, you do not know the exact number. So, whatever quantities, size, cost, population it is, when we do not know the exact number, we take the approximation of it. That is estimation. Estimation is also known as rounding of numbers to the nearest tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. So, here in this exercise, you will learn about rounding of the numbers to the nearest tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. There are certain rules when you are rounding off a number. Here, I am going to discuss these rules which will be taken into consideration when we, you are rounding off the numbers to the nearest 10, 100 or 1000. The first point. See the digit at units place when you are rounding off a number to the nearest 10. So, whatever number is given to you, see the number which is in the units place. Here it is very important for you to understand though we are rounding off a number to the nearest 10, we do not take the number which is present in the tens place. We will always take the number which is present just beside it to the right side. So the number or the digit which is present to the right of the tens place is the units place. So you have to see the digit which is, which is present in the units place. Second point, if the digit is less than 5 in the units place, then replace it by 0, keeping the other digits as they are. Consider the example over here, 234. Now, what is the number which is present in the units place? It is 4. Now, 4 is less than 5. So, when you round off 4, you get the answer as 230. This 4 will be replaced by 0. So 234, when rounded off to the nearest 10, gives you 230. Similarly, 981, when rounded off to the nearest 10, gives the answer as 980. Third point, if the digit in one's place is 5 or more than 5, then the 10th digit is increased by 1, and replace the ones digit by zero. See the example 349. What is the digit which is present in the units place? It is 9. 9 is greater than 5. So when you rounding off this 9, then you have to add 1 to the tens place. So 4 plus 1 will give you 5. So the number 349, when rounded off to the nearest 10, will give the answer as 350. Similarly, 265, when rounded off to the nearest 10, gives the answer as 270. Rounding off a number to the nearest 100. See the examples over here. 2346, when you are rounding off the number which is nearest 100, that is, nearest 100 means you have to round off the digit which is present in the tens place. So, 2346, 4 is present in the tens place. When you round it off, you get the answer as 2300. So, here look at the number very carefully. When you are rounding off the number in the tens place, even the digit which is present in the units place will also convert to 0. 
That is the reason 2346 when rounded off to the nearest 100 gives you the answer as 2300. Similarly, 956 when rounded off to the nearest 100 gives you 1000. Why? 5 is present in the tens place. So, when you round off 5, then you have to add a 1 to the hundreds place. So, you add 1 to the hundreds place, you get the answer as 1000. Same procedure follows when you are rounding off a number to the nearest thousand. Here, 5432 when rounded off to the nearest thousand will give you the answer as 5000. As 4 is present in the hundreds place, you round off 4, all the numbers which are present beside 4, that is 4, 3 and 2 will become 0 and you will get the answer as 5000. 7639 when you round off a 6 which is present in the hundreds place over here and the 6 is greater than 5 so 1 will be added to 7 so you get the answer as 8000 so 7639 when rounded off to the nearest thousand gives the answer as 8000